we are going to discuss how to use find in word i know you know find but trust me there is much more let's start control f used to give us the standard good old find dialog earlier but now a new version of, of word it does not do that it gives you this kind of dialog and most of us get frustrated with it so what do we do don't get frustrated if microsoft has changed something from old version to new version and you don't like it that doesn't mean microsoft wants to trouble you it's just that you have not put enough effort to understand why it is good for you if microsoft has done something trust me it is for your good now just type your word there and then we'll figure out why it is good for you i'm just typing efficiency it tells me that there are eight places where this is visible and it is showing me all the eight sentences why is this good if you had used the good old traditional dialog when i typed efficiency first thing nothing would have happened i would have to click on find next many times the find dialog comes in front of what i am reading so i have to press escape then i have to go find next again then find next again and at any point of time i still don't have any clue as to whether this word has appeared eight times or 8000 times so i am just groping in the dark hoping to reach the correct place eventually in this case because i can see all the sentences i'm not going to scroll the document i'm not going to waste time doing find next i am actually going to look at the sentences here and click on the one i want and reach my destination more quickly because remember when we are finding something we are not just finding that particular word we are actually finding a location where that word appears in a specific context if i had not told you this you would not even have attempted to notice that there is something called pages and headings so let's do that when i click on pages notice what happens it's showing me only those pages where the word efficiency appears results are still 8 but it happens to be on page 1 4 and 14 5 what is the importance you cannot increase the font size here of course you can't read anything so why is microsoft showing it to you if it didn't have any benefit microsoft wouldn't show it to you if there is something you don't see the benefit that means you have to think little harder so look at it this way the yellow part tells me every instance of efficiency in this case so on this page there happens to be only one yellow thing on this page there are little more but on the first page there are many more what does that mean i am discussing the concept here and i am just mentioning the concept elsewhere so it gives me distribution or density of the word or phrase being looked at now it sounds like a very useful thing now let's look at headings of course headings gives you the structure of the document how do you do that by applying heading styles whenever you are creating the document so main heading gets heading 1 sub level heading gets heading 2 and so on and so forth now whenever i click on a particular heading word helps me navigate to that area very quickly that saves me a lot of time that's the benefit of using styles one of the benefits of course but apart from showing me this navigation pane which comes under view tab navigation pane by the way what else is it showing me we are still in the find mode normally if i click on a heading it just highlights it in blue now what is it saying i am currently under organizational politics but it is also showing me the headings where the word efficiency has appeared i have not highlighted them so if i go and click on one of them notice i can't have a blue background and a yellow background at the same time so it gets a blue border what does that mean i am currently under quantifying efficiency because there is a blue border and yellow indicates the word efficiency appears at least once under that topic now notice if i collapse this it will continue to show and when i expand it it will show the level under which this falls so this is quite nice but apart from knowing where the word appears it doesn't tell you much because under quantifying efficiency or team level there may be 50 pages and under those 50 pages the word may have appeared a number of times so in real life it doesn't give me too much of a benefit other than saying it's there or not there one or many so are we missing something absolutely yes don't just look at where the word appears places which don't have a yellow background that particular word is not appearing that's equally important 
For example, you will notice that this document is all about improving efficiency. We know that. So if I'm talking about improving efficiency, how can I not have the word efficiency appear under recommendations? How can I be saying that only team level inefficiency is there and individual there is no inefficiency? So basically it means the coverage of this particular word, phrase or topic is still not fully complete or mature as far as this document is concerned. That means I need to work more on this document to balance out the topic. And this is a very, very useful thing which is not just a side effect, this happens by design. This is how find can help you in all these situations. Now you think you have finished find? No, not yet. Now I have not typed anything here, but notice there is a lens here. Click on that. The first few things on the lens are just some options. These take you to the original dialogue, but this is important. Sometimes I have a long document and there are some tables in it. Understanding data in tables is much simpler because it's tabular, it's easy to grasp. If you look at the table, you realize whatever is written there is fine, there is no dispute, no confusion, nothing interesting. You don't need to read the verbosity below it. So how do I go from table to table? I click on this, Word will figure out where the first table is. You don't have to worry about scrolling. When you finish reading it, click on this button, then it goes to the next table which happens to be on page 3. Next table happens to be on page 10. Next table is page 13 and that's it. So you can move previous next. One shortcut you need to remember, ideally Microsoft should have put that shortcut in tooltip here, but never mind. It's called control page down for the next instance and control page up for the previous instance. Remember that will work with the search text or table or in this case graphic as well. So I'm going to show you again, go back to the beginning of the document. From the beginning, now I am saying search for graphic. So it finds the first graphic. Again, control page down or this arrow will take you to the second graphic, third graphic and so on and so forth. Shortcut remains the same, control page down. Now at least have we finished all the options under find? No, unfortunately not. There is much, much more available here. If you press control F or control H and then go to find, there are many things under this more and there are many things here and there are many things here. Yes, it's a long list. We will cover this in another video, but for now, this is introduction to find in Word. What is the key learning from it? If there is a feature, trust me, you need it. Finding the benefit for yourself behind every feature is called efficiency. Thank you.